if you're healing from a relationship that was toxic, if you're coming out, I want to tell you a couple things that may help you feel better about where you are. Number one is if it's taking you two months to even mention a conversation where your ex wasn't in it, you are completely normal. That's right. According to research, it takes at least two months after ending a toxic relationship for you to no longer mention the person's name. It takes up to 18 months to move past it. So many people are starting to redate after six months and they're trying to heal through a relationship. They're trying to get to know someone else, fall in love. And my main piece of advice today is that it's too soon. If you were truly in a toxic relationship, one where there, you were with a narcissist or someone who had a lot of toxic energy from a previous relationship or maybe from their family of origin, then you have to slow down. You have to cut yourself some slack and you have to try and work on these next tips, suggestions that I'm going to give you. The first of these, it's really important that you seek mental health. The reason why is because you need someone who is objective and a friend is not going to be able to give you that. Not only that, but a therapist is going to be able to guide you during the sleepless nights, during maybe small panic attacks you're having, maybe about meltdowns you're having, grief after this relationship. Because a toxic relationship isn't like letting go of a regular relationship. It's seven times worse. And the reason is because it instilled in you a feeling of shame, a feeling of guilt that you were always the wrong person. And that doesn't go away quickly. And it doesn't go away from talking to a friend. It goes away from getting the mental health therapy that you so desperately need right now. Secondly, follow the no contact rule. I know it seems heartless, but it's so important that when you get away, you do not go back. That person may start haunting you. They may be showing up on your posts. They may make innuations that, you know, they were completely wrong. Can they get a second chance? No second chance. When you make a break with a toxic person, you must be strong enough. You must have a big enough network that you don't go back because anytime you go back, you're going to be re-hurt. And for each of those re-hurts, you have to add on an additional six months of healing. So many times people who take toxic people back don't get over them for four to six years, depending on how many times they let them back into their life. Next, um, while finding peace after a toxic relationship, assess what went wrong. So you're still you're still healing yourself and a therapist is going to help you this, but it's also important that you get clear and are able to write down what went wrong, when it went wrong. And by wrong, I mean, what were things that were significant in your thinking back when you, sh when you feel or you're beating yourself up that you should have known or things that happened that seemed to set this person off to get worse? Many times there were subtle things during the relationship or things you went, mm, that's not really right. But at the same time, you may have overlooked it because you were busy with attending to other things. Your life, your work, you may have just, you know, dropped it, put it under the rug rather than dealing with it. And dealing with it is so important. So I'm really going to encourage you to make that list of what went wrong and when it went wrong. Focus on your mental and physical health. This is a good time to take up a plan to get back in shape or maybe take that class you wanted to do. Mental health can is probably a therapist, but it's also other things like joining a group or an activity, something you've always wanted to do that brought you great pleasure that you kind of forgot about within all the grieving of this relationship. So get back to those things because those are just going to really make you start feeling more your old self and you're looking for that person again who used to be grateful, who used to see a good side of life. That person is still there but they're dormant 
It takes time. Don't beat yourself up. Uh, figure out why you fall for the people you do. What was going on with you at the time when you got into this relationship? What parts of you needed healing? Many times we're looking for something that's going to make us feel better. Are you a rescuer? Did you take this person on because you felt sorry for them? Maybe that's something you have to work on with your therapist. The more aware you are, the more you're able to see these things now and consider them and write them down, the more it's gonna help the therapist you're working with help you. Don't shell up. There is no reason to isolate yourself. No matter what this person did to you, no matter what they made you feel, do not allow the abuse to continue. It's important you get out there that you confide in someone. If you're seeing a therapist, that's a big step toward making that happen. That therapist is also able to start assigning you, okay, you need to have at least one social outing a week. I do this many times for my clients who are starting to isolate and shell up. We don't want that for you. It's not healthy and it's only gonna set you back in this particular incidence. Um, and lastly, redis rediscover yourself and your optimism. When you're with someone toxic, they make you start feeling like you doubt yourself. You don't trust yourself. You don't really have what it takes to be an incredible person, but you do. They robbed that, but that robbing is temporary. You can, re you can reignite that and you can get back where you were and even better because you're going to grow beyond this person. You're gonna grow beyond this experience. We'll always be part of your story, but use this person as a strength for your life, that you made it through, that you learned some valuable lessons, that you won't go back there, rather than letting them pull you back, limit your life, and make you feel like there's a part of your life you'll never get back or restore. Life isn't like that, you can fully restore but it all begins with that first step of getting professional help. And yes, you can do that.